All right, the University of Texas's trombone choir is heading overseas to play for some of the best trombone players around the world. It's an honor, but they need a little help to get there. Tanya Ortega live on the UT campus now with the story. Tanya? Hey, good morning. Well, you know, playing at the International Trombone Festival is a big dream come true for these students, but it can get expensive. And so they created something to help them raise the money to get there and also impress the crowd. <laughs> It's not a sound you hear every day, but boy, is it unique. It's very expressive. You know, it, it mim mimics the voice very, very well. These musicians are part of the University of Texas Trombone Choir. Many of them have been playing since they were children, but this tradition goes way back. Ensemble Trombone Choir started over 500 years ago in Germany. That, they were popular there. Uh, and in, in America, they've been here maybe uh, three to four hundred years. These students have received a special invitation. They've been asked to play the International Trombone Festival in Valencia, Spain. It's a wonderful opportunity for the students to uh, uh, work with some of the world's finest trombone players and actually perform for them. So we're really excited about that opportunity. So how do they plan to make themselves stand out with this bad boy? It's called the Pyro Trombone, and it was created by Valentin Garon, a French exchange student at UT. I've been working about two years on different prototypes and having something safe. Uh, basically, it's like a big water gun into a trombone, but I'm not throwing water, I'm, I'm throwing fuel. Here's how it works. Valentin plays a trombone with his right hand. He has a trigger in his left one, which he clicks to the beat. He wears a protective glove and tells us the heat can make it difficult to tune. But Valentin sees this as a way to get more people interested in the music. Trombone is not really loved by people. And then if you add fire, then people are just, whoa, that's great, I want to see this. Even though he's gotten mixed reviews. Most of them say it's crazy, it's insane, or it's genius. Some people who were just really deep into classical music didn't like it. Either way, it's headed to the festival, along with 18 eager students. I guess it's kind of like Comic-Con for trombone players. <laughs> Evan Sankey has been playing trombone for 16 years. He tells us the trip will be a one-of-a-kind experience and hopes his community will help them get there. I think it'll make a lot of people proud. It always feels good when you give to people. Now the team is raising money through Horn Razor. They're planning uh, to raise about $15,000 right now. They're at about 8,500. And depending on how much money you donate, you could be part of a performance here with the pyro trombone before they head off to Spain. For more info and for the link, you can go to our website, myfoxaustin.com. It's right there on our homepage. And we talked about the safety, uh, about the pyro trombone. They tell us that any performances done with that trombone are definitely going to be outside. We'll yeah. send it back to you.